Hello everyone. So in this video, we will find the exact value of cos pi over 12. So the first step here is to analyze this angle pi over 12 and see if there is any relationship between this angle pi over 12 and the special angle. Now we know that the special angles are, so I'll write them on the board. The special angles are pi over 6, pi over 4, and pi over 3. Now, if you have uh, trouble uh, understanding the angle relationships when the angles are given in radians, you can do the conversion from radians to degrees, but don't show that as part of your steps because teachers don't like it because the given angle is in radians. But you can do it on a scrap paper. So we know pi over 6, so if I have to do the conversion, pi over 6 is 30 degrees, pi over 4 is 45 degrees, and pi over 3 is 60 degrees. And if I have to convert pi over 12, into degrees so i can just replace pi by 180 so 180 over 12 is equal to 15 degrees now we also see that the difference between the special angles is 15 degrees so that means pi over 12 can also be written as a difference of these special angles. So we can use, uh, write pi over 12 as a difference of pi over 4 minus pi over 6 or we can also write it as the pi over 12 equals pi over 3 minus pi over 4. So we can use either of these two uh, pairs and then use the cosine angle difference identity to find the exact value of cosine pi over 12. So in this video, I'll use this first pair of special angles. So the first step is to write cosine pi over 12 as pi over 4 minus pi over 6. And now we can use the cosine angle difference identity. So I'll write it on the board. So cosine of x minus y is equal to cosine x cosine y plus sine x, sine y. So there's a very important identity you need to understand and memorize. So in our expression, x is equal to pi over 4. And y is equal to pi over 6. We can use the identity and expand this expression. So we get cos of pi over 4 times cos of pi over 6 plus sine of pi over 4 times sine of pi over 6. Now, since pi over 4 and pi over 6 are special angles, we can use special triangles to evaluate cos pi over 4, cos pi over 6, and sine pi over n, sine pi over 6. So we can draw the special triangles. So let's start with pi over 4. So for pi over 4, this is the special triangle. So pi over 4 is 45 degrees. But we'll show all our steps in radians. So if you remember, so we label the side lengths as square root of 2, square root of 2, and 
2. Now the other special triangle is for pi over 6. So this will be the triangle, special triangle for pi over 6. 1 and it will be 2 and this is square root of 3. Now for cosine, the formula as per Sokatoa is adjacent over hypotenuse. And for sine, the formula is opposite over hypotenuse. So now we can use these special triangles. So cos of pi over 4 is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, so square root of 2 over 2 times then cos of pi over 6, which is square root of 3 over 2, so adjacent over hypotenuse. Plus the sine of pi over 4, which is opposite over hypotenuse, the so square root of 2 over 2 times sine of pi over 6, opposite over hypotenuse, which is 1 over 2. Now we have to simplify this expression, so we have to multiply the fraction. And when we multiply the fraction, we multiply the numerator terms, we multiply the denominator terms, so in the numerator terms, we get square root of 2 times square root of 3, which is square root of 6 over 4. And then plus square root of 2 over 4. Now both fractions have the same denominator, so we can just add the numerator terms. So we get square root of 6 plus square root of 2 over 4. So this should be the final answer for the exact value of cos of pi over 12. So I hope you'll find this video useful. Please share it, like it and subscribe to Homework Help. Thank you. Bye.